Hey man, what's cool? Water the Digital Dope Man here with another episode in the Barroom Chats Podcast uh, where we talk about entertainment, politics, culture, business, and health. Um, I wanted to drop a real quick seed on um, Lil Nas X who recently, um, well he's been blowing up based off his song Old Town Road which is a country slash rap song. Him and Billy Ray Cyrus, he went through a number of uh, situations where folks was giving him the blues based on them not feeling that the song was country enough. So he finally has broke the mold and has risen to a place where now he's beginning to get respected. Well, recently he just did a uh, show out there and um man i don't know if it was um it was overseas let me see here he was overseas and he did the show with miley cyrus and billy ray cyrus um in which case after he did the show Let's see, Nas X. So, after he did the show, uh, it was a UK concert with Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley Cyrus. I think it might have been 180,000 people. Um, Once he did the show, he came out and, and tweeted in code using symbols and rainbows and certain words basically everybody's interpreting that to say that he's coming out as gay i'm not surprised if that's the case and i don't think he's gay i think that he's playing the game because that's the game he knows and has been told he has to play in order for him to be able to continue to stay in the position that he's in because he's newly on the scene. He's like 20 years old and dude ain't trying to go back to being broke. So he not interested in trying to fight the power. He ain't even got that seed in him. He just, he having a good time. He making a little bit of money now. He ain't without no job. He got, you know, he got attention. He global now. So for him, it's just, it it don't make sense to do it no other way. I mean, you, you, you kind of would have already knew and could have seen it prior to him being, uh, initiated into the music industry, as they like to say. I don't think dude is gay. I don't think he got an ounce of gay. Now, by the time he leave, he may be. By the time he come up out of out of this thing and he in his 40s, he may be. But 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 in the same sentence, I do not think that little Nas X has a gay bone in his body. Uh, His mannerisms don't say much about it. You know, the way he talks don't say much about it. Uh he seems and shows to be a masculine guy. You know, it's, 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 it's certain things that a lot of gay men and, and young gay males, because I done worked around plenty of them in the high school, exhibit. And you see the behavior. I'm not seeing that in him. I'm not seeing those, those little bitty innuendos. I think somebody whispered in his ear that you're going to have to get down with the LGBT community. The LGBTQ community now, uh, because they on the rise. Like I told y'all years ago, I wrote a song, A Gay World. I wrote that song, man, back in 2007. And everybody thought I was crazy. I could see it. I could see it. It's a gay world. They got the power. They running shit. It, it is what it is. Like I say, I like Lil Nas' song. It's cool. He got a couple of other tracks. They seem cool. And he trying to stick around. So he has to play the game to win. And he only know how to play the game to win by the advisors who's telling him how to play the game. 
which means that, hey, man, you might want to say that to let people think you gay, even if you ain't gay, so you'll get the gay support. The only problem is some of them people in the music business industry, the executives and whatnot, they might they going to want to test. It. And hopefully Lil Nas, you know, can can dance around there for as long as he can. But uh, this is the music industry It's it's full of devils. You know, it's a lot of demons and devils and, and, and shysters and shift, shifty people and gangsters and drug dealers and and prostitutes and 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 whatever you know dirty businessmen you know what i'm saying the record companies the record labels the major ones ain't owned by nobody black you got independent labels like you know uh suave house and rap a lot and you know bad boy and ruthless and no limit and uh um cash money you know uh the list goes on you know they they're they're boutique mom and pop labels that have made a significant amount of noise by, by brokering deals with the majors for distribution. And in some cases, ownership of their masters, you feel me? And that's, that's, that's what has to be understood.